newest resident here at the Kansas City Zoo. It's not Randy. No. But it's Arnie, all the sloth back here. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Arnie. Yeah, he just... just Arnie, a, I love his nickname. Arnie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arnie, named after a volcano in Costa Rica. Yeah. Uh, just joined us about five, six weeks ago. Okay. He was at a zoo in Montreal, Canada. We had to send staff up. When they drove up, it was easier to get him across the border. <laughs> Can you imagine going through customs some... with, with a sloth in your back? Did it wear his papers right? <laughs> I, I hope so. We got him here, so it must have been. He got, I don't know if he got his green card. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's here on a, on a, on a work, work study program. <laughs> uh, but a uh, great animal, great addition to the zoo. We, yeah. we just put him on display. Uh, it was absolutely the most requested animal in all the visitor surveys that we've done. And we've had elephants and lions and tigers and all kinds of endangered species and people wanted to see a sloth. So we went out and found a sloth. What makes them so popular, do you think? Is it the way that they're portrayed in the movies? Everybody thinks they're lovable and huggable and slow and just lovely to be around, or what is it? Disney and, yeah. and that uh, magic of movies and media, they've turned them into little rock stars. Yeah. And, which is amazing for an animal that pretty much uh, spends their day doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> this one, he's named after the volcano in Costa Rica. Yeah. So is that where he... He's found mostly in South America, Okay. Uh, in tropical rainforests. Uh, they have to have tropical rainforests. You know, they're built to live in the treetops. Uh, they're pretty good sized. He, he weighs about 15 pounds. They eat pretty much vegetation. Uh, so if your diet was only leaves, you know, that's the amount of energy yeah. you have that you hang in the trees. He'll sleep up to 15, 16, 17 hours a day. What a life. Yeah. Do they ever come down to the, to they the will, rainforest They floor? will come down uh, for two things, to move to another tree <laughs> or to go to the bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah. They don't want to do it in the trees. So you don't have they to worry about walking through the rainforest and getting, getting slothed. Yeah, yeah, slothed, slothed. <laughs> getting slothed yeah. in the rainforest. So, yeah, and they'll come hey, there's down an idea for an event for you guys in the future. <laughs> uh, we'll put that in the book. Uh, they'll come down about once a week to do that. Okay. They, but that, that is also when they're most vulnerable to oh, predators. Oh, sure because they're not very fast. Yeah. And so to going to a different tree, coming down to go to the bathroom, that's when uh, main predator will be jaguars yeah. and maybe harpy eagles, enormous mm. eagle. Oh, they really? will come down and, and pick out smaller ones. So uh, they want to minimize their vulnerability. So staying up in the tree is survival. It's the perfect spot for them. It's all about surviving. All right. When people come out to the zoo, yeah. where do they need to go to see them? Uh, he's up in the Discovery Barn. We took the old Meerkat exhibit, turned it into Slothville. <laughs> we took a... <laughs> Are there any other sloth puns that you need to get out of your system before uh, we keep going? No, no. <laughs> I, I'll just talk slow. Though. Okay. <laughs> And the adorableness at the zoo continues in just a bit. We're going to meet Red Panda Babies, Aww. Belinda. Better Kansas City. Now, baby animals are the absolute cutest. There are some arrivals, some new arrivals you might be lucky enough to see at the Kansas City Zoo. And now you can even feed some of the animals. Let's first talk about the new exhibit with the camels. Is that camels, right? yeah. We uh, picked up an idea from a small zoo that they, were, they had camels and they created this deck and they had feeding tubes and we're allowing people to come in and get some coin up pellets yeah. and shoot down the tube to the camels. We uh, thought it was a great idea. We put it into effect this year. We opened it this summer, earlier this summer, and it gave people another view of our dromedary camels and opportunity to come and feed them. And people uh, we found just absolutely love the opportunities when they can feed an animal, interact somehow mm -hmm. with our goats, with our stingrays. So it's been very popular and uh, it's been so popular we have kids shooting food down those tubes when the camels are nowhere to be found. Oh, really? <laughs> well, those are that's the new exhibit here, but also new arrivals we yeah. have here at the Kansas City Zoo. We've got some red pandas. Okay. Uh, real unusual thing happened. We had three of them, triplets born. Almost never happens. Mm -hmm. It's usually twins. Really? For red yeah. pandas, you only get, usually get twins? You usually okay. get twins. The mom, it, you know, is not real big, mm -hmm. and keeping care of two, a lot of times it's what is it, the moms can do. And in nature, that third one probably wouldn't have survived wouldn't have because she wouldn't have had enough milk or been able to pay that much attention. But our staff, uh, we supplementally fed oh, wow. the third baby like an eyedropper and uh, waited every day. They've been on the ground now about a month and uh, all three of them are gaining weight. Yeah. And so they're doing fine. We're, back, we're down to one supplemental feeding. Now, it's one of those animals that people are just gonna have to be patient. Uh, mom will now move them from a nest box to nest box, and if you're really lucky, you can see her running through the exhibit with one of them hanging out of her mouth. 
but it could be up to three months before they're fully out running around and playing. So this fall, be a great time to come out and see them. And in the fall, we, we put them, we move them from their indoor exhibit to their outdoor exhibit because they love cold weather. Oh, really? Yeah, so it should be fun this winter seeing them playing in the snow. Another soon arrival. Soon arrival. One of the drafts is pregnant. Yep, yep, yep. Lizzie is pregnant, and we know she's extremely pregnant. <laughs> Gestation's 15 months, and we never know, like humans, that uh, we can't pinpoint the exact date. Mm -hmm. But we know it's going to happen real soon. So awesome. that, that's always fun, and uh, everybody loves giraffes. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl? Nope. Nope. It's going to be a surprise for everybody. It's going to be a giraffe. <laughs> it's going to be a giraffe. Heard it from Randy. Pretty sure on that one. <laughs> What is a tree kangaroo? Uh, it's a kangaroo that lives under a tree. That's it? That's it. Obviously kangaroos They're are from Australia. Yeah. So this tree kangaroo comes from Australia it, as well? Well, it comes from uh, Papua New Guinea, so it's close. And uh, it's, a, it's a kangaroo, looks like a kangaroo, but it has climbing ability and hmm. can go up, go up in the trees, lives in more of a rainforest. Uh, environment. You know, to be honest, the exhibit, it just needed work yeah. and a lot of people didn't go in and, and enjoy them. So we, we just pretty much just blew it up and said, let's start all over again and created an exhibit where you can see, you're going to be able to see the animals 365 days a year, oh, wow. which you couldn't in the other one. And uh, we've got an indoor, outdoor component, planted it heavily. And instead of going into the big cage with them, uh, we, we made it so you view them from the outside and it looks back in the woods of, of Swope Park. Beautiful exhibit. They're a fun animal, uh, but they, they only like to be, we've got a pair, yeah. and they only like to be together when it's time to think about making a family. <laughs> so when you come out, you may see mom on one side and dad, dad, on, the dad on the other. And then you know that it's time to make a family if you see them together. together. But talk about just coming out to the zoo this time of year. Just a gorgeous time to be out here. Perfect weather. It's, it's the best. It's the best. The weather, once it cools down a little bit, usually after Labor Day, we've, we've had a great summer. It hasn't mm -hmm. been that hot, so we've got a busy morning this morning. Uh, but once school starts, uh, come out in the fall, the colors of, of Swope Park. Great time to come, September, October, yeah. even into the winter. Uh, great place to come out and walk around. Uh, the animals are really active when the weather gets cooler. First thing in the morning, uh, it's just it's just a fun place to be. Mm -hmm. And always something happening. And every time you walk past an animal pen, you know, if you come every day, something's going on different than happened yesterday. So right. yeah, come on and see everything and all the uh, hopefully new babies and yeah. uh, all the things going on. And all the exhibits we talked about today are open now at the Kansas City Zoo. And we'll let you know when that new giraffe arrival decides to make his or her grand entrance. Yeah, I always love all the contests they put out there uh -huh. about naming the animals. Sometimes it's social media based and sometimes it's just like right in. And I always, I really kind of curious what they're going to name it too. That's always fun because they always come up well, with Well, he wouldn't even names. tell you if it was a boy or exactly. girl. Exactly. It's a big secret. So we got to come <laughs> up with new ideas. So, all right. Well, very cool. So for 25 years, 